there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With even more exclusive content, with over 150 channels in your vehicle, including the widest, deepest variety of music, ad-free. Root for your team. Get news. Listen to whatever makes you laugh. And hear all about your favorite stars. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels filled with music and enjoy a favorite shows with Sirius XM Video. Thousands of hours of shows and performances on demand. What you love is on now. What's going on, everybody? We are reporting live from Mesa, Arizona. Of course, we're talking about Master Tech Expo. I'm your host, Ben Wu, for another 12 Volt Insider presented by Sirius XM. And who's joining me? That's right, none other than the man himself, Mr. Brian Schmidt. Brian, what's going on, brother? How's it going, Ben? Bro, let me see a nothing short of a whirlwind experience since the moment I stepped foot in your city. Uh, you know, Arizona is just great to begin with. And our weather is phenomenal right now. There's a reason why spring training's here, the Super Bowl, all these events, because we have the best weather right now. Now, July, that might change, but right now, it's prime. And it's prime for Master Tech season. Oh, my God. You know, I can't believe weather is where you started. Because let me tell you, folks, something. I'm here for three days, but we are broadcasting every day. We're going to let the folks okay. at home know in detail what they are missing out on. Because uh, let me tell you, let me tell you guys something. Listen up. There is so there is so much going on here. It's hard. I have to write notes. You know me. I don't write notes. I had no choice but to write notes because there's that much stuff that's going on. Now, Brian, you've been hyping this event up. Obviously, last year, I didn't get a chance to come. I know you're angry at me. I'm here now, so don't be angry. Yeah, I'm here. But let me tell you this. We're going to cover a couple of things. I'm going to ask Brian, pick his brain about, you know, if he thought, how you thought the opening ceremonies went. And this is your vision, right? Like, is this coming to fruition the way that you had in your mind? That's number one. And number two... We're going to be able to sit down with all these great vendors that are here, kind of pick their brain and see what, what experience they're offering, you know, attendees of the show from a technology standpoint, from a product standpoint. And of course, by the end of all this, we're going to get you back in here and kind of get your thoughts of how the show went. All right. So let's, let's get to it. Let's do it. So you built this up, right? There's a lot of features. You guys go to the website, mastertechexpo.ca. It's all laid out there. But to be here in person, seeing the rubbing elbows with the people that are here and experiencing the things that your mind has come up with to all be at the same time. Let's start last night. Ben, uh, dealers showed up, they registered, they got a goodie bag, t-shirts, all kinds of stuff. And then we were treated to something special. This yeah. amphitheater deal. Well, like, go ahead. Tell yeah, me so, it. you know, the vision is kick down the front door. You get here, it's an experience. This is not just a show you come to, it is, it's an event. It's a once a year event. And last night was just a culmination of that. We want to kick down that front door with some live music. We had the mayor of Mesa, John Giles, and he was awesome. And he's a car enthusiast. I honestly feel like he was blown away by how many people were there. Oh, he was absolutely blown away. So we had the mayor up there. That was a nice touch. And then we started off with two different bands. It was awesome. We had uh, Dylan and Justin up there. Incredible. And then, you know, uh, you know, as the sun went down, we had a lot of drinks. It was fun hanging out. And it didn't it, it sound amazing. Dude, the sound, of the, that amphitheater is so, you know, it's funny. I was yeah. thinking to myself, like, how nervous are these guys playing in front of a crowd that are all audio geeks? No kidding. <laughs> right? But it, it was, it was on, it was, it was on point. On point. And, yeah. you know, I appreciated Justin for doing the three or four encores that uh, he did because we're vibing, right? Uh, it was yeah. a vibe. But then it finished with the finale. Oh, uh, who doesn't like fireworks? <sighs> So as Sweet Home Carolina comes on, we planned it for the first chorus. Boom. Fireworks. Can you believe it that? And then they just nuts. kept going. Dude. And going. Just when I thought it was done, it got like next level. It was yes. so, it was like 4th of July stuff. Technically, it was 13 minutes of fireworks. There you go. 13 minutes of fireworks. Yeah. That's what you missed. I don't, I, we can't replay that. <laughs> so shout out to MSC, right? Because they, yeah. they help support um, the, oh, the stage. Larry and Jason team. Shout out. Awesome. MSC. Great guys. 
and it, it was phenomenal. So I got to give some love to, you know, Sirius XM. Yep. Up to the fireworks. So shout out to SXM yeah, for Sirius that. Sirius was the major contributor for the, this event as well. So, uh, you know, Paul, everybody, thank you guys. Yep. Awesome. Ricky. All right. So, dude. Yeah. yeah so it, it's just coming together. So last night was phenomenal. Just And I saw you were tired. Was, that was a long day for you. It was long. I, was, I tried to get him. Say no, I'm going to bed. Me and Michelle, we're done. Yeah. It All was right. Fine. So shout out to Michelle, by the way, who's like, I found out secretly now that I'm here is the actual brains behind this operation. Yes. Right, Brian? Yes. All right. Yes. So, the boss. <laughs> she she, she, really is she has the no boss. idea that we're talking about yes. her, but that's okay. <clears throat> All right. So now fast forward all the text. You, you, you have a meeting with all your trainers, which I was privy to. And I got to say, like, Brian, you get those guys in line. Like mm. you set the expectation. And I want this is stuff that nobody knows. But this behind the scenes. Brian puts together a meeting with all their trainers and tells them, listen, these guys are paying good money to be here. There, there's an expectation that you need to deliver on from a professionalism, from a content delivery, yep. from a format, even down to the shirt and, and like the, you know, the template for the presentation. Yep. So it's no mistake. And I had, a, you know, the, the opportunity, you know, see this? This is a special pass. It lets me go anywhere. And I've been hopping in and out of these training sessions and they are off the chain, mind blowing. So how did it? The day one go for you so far as far as what you had envisioned of all these things going on we're going to break that down real quick but overall right now how do you feel it couldn't go better phenomenally i mean there's there's always things that you know come up but overall the show is fantastic everybody's having a good time good food great people the vendors are putting on their absolute best foot forward and uh you know i think that's that's just great we want to see them bring their tech, and that's what we challenge them with: is bring your tech, uh, you know, and, and really showcase your technology. This is a this is a tech show, and we want these guys to be engaged, and that's what it's about. So let me let me break it down for these people watching. So when I say there's a lot going on, I can't express when I say how much stuff is going on. So while these master classes are going on, depending on the lane that you chose, right? You got these top-notch teachers teaching, then you have the food. As a, as, a, as a participant, you don't have to stress about food. You, yeah. I walked in this morning, there was coffee laid out, muffins, cookies, all that, and then the whole that's buffet true. for lunch. Like, that's great. Now, there's a training component, then there's the show floor component, then there's the competition component, which we're going to spend some other time talking about as well, and then there's this whole indoor-outdoor field. Mm. Guys, I can't tell you. I mean, check out social media. I'm going to do my best to kind of express to you my insight as to what it's like being here. <laughs> At the end of the day, Brian, uh, your your mind is nuts. I just I'm in, super impressed that you were able to bring that concept into like fruition. Like what did it, you're delivering it right now? Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Inside, we've got components like the the build off teams, two teams going head to head, three guys on each team, and uh, it, that's incredible. Outside, you've got Dean and Fernando with their clean wire thing. Yo, those boys are working hard. It is crazy. They're hustling. Mark on. On the from Car Audio Fab yeah. up on the stage, emceeing like the build up, like they're working hard. Why? And I know why, because those competitors are working hard. They yeah. are giving their all. Oh, so they deserve that. Yeah, they're going all out. All out. All, all out. out. I mean, you know how this industry is. Everybody's super competitive. Oh yeah. <laughs> so everybody wants that edge, and they're they're coming with their A game. Hundred percent. And they're 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 flexing up there. So that's sweet. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be just fantastic this night. Tonight we're gonna have barbecue out on the plaza. Yes, barbecue. And uh, it's just a cool vibe. You know, you said you like that outside vibe. That Bro, you know, that. What it felt, you know what it felt like? So straight up, you, those old school kids, you, it felt like no pee. Like back in 2002, outside, you got tents, cars, good weather. It was awesome. Man. Yeah. Like it's it's vibing outside. Yeah, me. it's sweet. All right, all right. So yeah. I know you got to go. Yeah. Just give me a lot of time. Yeah. Right now, day one, how do you, like, what are you looking out for the next two days? What do you hope? What, what message do you have? You know, it's. It, the the vibe is awesome. The energy is a, probably the best word for me to describe. It's just you can feel it. Mm -hmm. And as these competitions develop and these guys finish their projects and kind of things come to fruition, um, classes become more complete. Man, it's it's amazing. And even the prop that we built for this show, it's actually in School of Fab right now. It is probably I'm going to say the most comprehensive training prop ever. It's literally take a second to explain this. This is important. It, it's a it's a full car replica. It's a 68 Camaro floor pan, the entire floor pan. And we modeled the infusion and then built a car on top of it, the interior only. And it all comes apart like Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. yeah. And it all links together, but it's all a training component. It's a, it's phenomenal. So it's mind blowing. I think they're here 
to be blown off. So, I mean, congrats to you. I, I, you know what? Let's just keep the ball rolling. You guys at home missing out. I'm going to do my best to give it to you, but we got Brian in the house. Brian, we're going to get you back on, on the last day to kind of get your thoughts. Let's do it. We'll do a wrap-up. Right, I buddy. appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, man. All right, so I'm going to continue this coverage. We've got a great lineup of guests coming on today. And our job here, of course, is going to kind of give you a feel of what you're missing out. i got my first guest coming in uh, representing a brand, which i got to tell you, I don't even know if he got in the car to get over here because that's how close they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Russell from Rockford Fosky. What's going on, Mr. Eric? Good to have you, buddy. So, like, here we are at the convention center. How far is Rockford Fosgate from here? Like, the building? Just steps away, right? So we're we're about five, ten minutes away, just down University Drive. Like, this so is your backyard. Headquarters. Backyard. It's our backyard. Backyard. All right. Like, look, arguably, you might be able to hear the bass thumping from the outside expo over at, at headquarters. That would not be a lie. You would be that telling close. the truth. Yeah. All right. So real quick before we get into what's happening with Rockford here, I want to share a story. Way back when I was a wee lad getting into car audio, the first, I still remember like it was yesterday, the first time that I visited Rockford Fosby. It was an RTTI, yeah. It was RTTI. I was so humbled, wide-eyed, bushy-tailed. Now, you and I met. I remember you, but you don't remember me because he's a big time since then. I was nobody. But I will never forget my first time ever to Rockford Fosby. So it means a lot to me. You know what I mean? Because I was at the motherland. I was at the freaking HQ mothership. Okay. Rock and Frost is playing a big part of this show. You guys were there last year. You know, your president had the, had the big keynote. This year, you're supporting in different ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's, I had the chance to hang out with Eric a little bit. Let's start with the booth. Right? Let's start with the booth. So you got, what is your footprint here at the show? So people understand. So we have a really large footprint. We're right at the front entryway. We have Greg Cobb's Chevy 1500. Uh, truck. So this is a 5,000 watt T216s. Uh, we debuted it at SEMA. Nobody else has seen it since then. So we brought it back out of retirement into uh, the Master Tech showroom floor. And anybody can listen to it. It's really outstanding. We also have our marine audio displays up here. This is a brand new lineup for Rockford Fosgate. And then outdoors, we're continuing the uh, the performance with motorcycle audio and our the world famous Power Series Sound Lab. So I want to talk about the Sound Lab thing. This is like a little inconspicuous little cargo van, mm -hmm. right? And then I see the back, and I see like two seats with headphones. I'm like, headphones? Were they trying to listen, like test out headphones? No, man, that's not for listening. It's a carnival ride for sure. It's a carnival ride. Yeah. I think that's the best way to explain. So. I guess what we're saying here is this is a multi-pronged presentation on behalf of Rockford Fosgate, and I'm going to add another layer to it. So not only are you going to experience all these different different facets of product that Rockford Fosgate is currently offering, you get to talk to the techs, the guys are on the floor, the entire Rockford team's here. You know, you're here, Jerry's here, Zach's here, the whole team's here. But more importantly than that, you're also supporting the build-off challenge. Why is that right. important? So, you know, Rockford Fosgate's been around for over 40 years. We built an iconic brand. We built culture around that based around performance. And so Rockford Fosgate wants to invest in the car audio community and invest in dealer education. So that's what our goal is. We want to build for the future, not just for today, but for future generations. I don't think you guys know what I'm about to say, but Rockford is. It's kind of your responsibility. We look to brands like you to keep that torch going and keep that flame going. And it's a heavy it. responsibility. It's a responsibility. But, you know, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. We want to make it competitive and fun. So Rockford Fallsgate sponsoring the build off, you know, is an important part of building on that future. You know, now I've I got a sneak peek at what the blue team is building back there. Okay. And if there is any sort of Rockford Fallsgate fanatic that loves the history of Rockford, you're just gonna love the legacy. That they're going to display when the blue team finishes. A little OG feel to it. It's very cool. Okay. All right. Um, so we're talking about the Rockford Fosgate experience. You're talking about your support. You know, this is a different crowd, right? We're talking a lot of installers, but at the same time, they are audio buffs. Everybody here is just so blown away with what's going on. You have a new event coming down. I want you to talk about that. We got a chance to talk about oh. that you do in your own, literally your own parking lot. What type of event is it? Tell the people at home what to look forward to. So. As you probably know, Motorcycle Audio has been a huge function for us. So uh, last year was our inaugural Motorcycle Audio Show at Rockford Fosgate headquarters. So this just isn't about opening up new opportunities. This is about opening our doors. So you can come in, talk to the actual engineers that build the product. You can talk to the new product development team that has the pleasure of 
of building a new product and walking it through the cycle. So we open the doors. You get to see a lot of our prototypes mm -hmm. of when we have- You actually show that stuff? Produce a product, yeah. So super cool. We give the consumers a really eye-opening experience that everything happens right here in our headquarters right in Tempe in Mesa, Arizona. And that would be what, the second year you're doing it this year? Second year, yeah, it's awesome. You know, we had a sold out first year and we intend I'll to tell make you it what, even better. Here's what I have to say, if you're a Rockford dealer or you're interested in maybe become, reach out to your rep. I'm sure they'll get the information to you. You guys get out to you know Arizona here and check out this factory event right at Rockford Fosky headquarters. It's Eric, huge. there's too much to talk about. You guys should be here. If you are here, go check out Rockford Fosgate. I saw a comment come in, I just wanna say, my first amp was a Rockford Fosgate Punch 40, buddy. Whose first amp wasn't? That's all I'm saying. Whose first amp wasn't a Punch 45, right? It's an icon. It's a legacy. <laughs> it's really where Jim Fosgate handed it off to Rockford Fosgate, and we just made it better. Punch 45, 75, 150, Power 300. That was my favorite. Power 650, Power 1000. I think the Power 1000 is golfing right now. They're still in retirement. Okay. But I'm going to ask the question that I've never asked. Eric, how much Rockford gear are you stashing at your house? Uh, well, I'm moving, <laughs> and the wife got a hold of the product that I had, and she did not like how much product I so had. So you have a little. So I have a little bit. You're going to show me that when I come over. Yeah. All right. Buddy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, I'll buddy. see you back over at the Rockford booth. All right, brother. Take care. Take care. So that's Eric Russell from Rockford Flossgate, obviously a major partner of Master Tech Expo. We got another one. We're going to keep it rolling. We're shooting them off one at a time. Everybody's here playing their role in just bringing something to the table. Come on, my man, have a seat with me. Coming to the stage, yes, we got Jacob Brown representing Ground Zero. What's going on? Oh, same stuff, different day. Oh no, oh no. I forgot, stuff, you, I forgot your present, but I sent Frank to go get I it. Hope, I hope you sent Frank to go get it. Oh, he's on his we way. Gotta, I need no, to talk I'm, about it. First time ever I've watched Frank, Frank Ron. Beautiful, all right, so check us out, Jake. Um, we're here at Master Tech, yes, and you know we have an opportunity to do things that you guys at home don't. And let me tell you my experience, because I had the chance to swing by the HKI USA Ground Zero booth, and there are some goodies going on. So I'm gonna let you tell the people at home what your footprint is and what's going on right now at your booth and your space. We're making a ruckus, as we always do. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is uh, we brought a couple of vehicles, we brought a couple of bikes, we brought some new products, we brought some exciting gear, and, uh, and really we're just doing what we do. We're out here to have fun. And, you know, if that means turning up the volume and letting people go, holy crap, that's the bike that I heard in the bar. Yes, absolutely. This is the bike that you heard in the bar. And, uh, and, and it's just fun. We're out here having fun. We're all car audio geeks. What are so the vehicles? What are laid out? What are the vehicles you got? There? Uh, we have two Harley Davidsons. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a full built bagger. All of the goodies and accessories that you could want. We brought a performance bagger. So it's really cool. That's a bike that's got 70,000 miles on it. It'll, you know, you can ride a wheelie on that bike for as long as you need to. Uh, and then we've got uh, Doug Dobson's Audi Q5, mm -hmm. and that that uh, that thing is absolutely beautiful. And then we've also got Doug Dobson's Jeep Wrangler, and the Jeep is one of those full built, giggly type builds. You know, it's it's three eighths vented, it's it's pro components, it's pro coaxials, it's loud, it's fun, it's all hidden, you can't see it. Oh, and by the way, you can still put the stock back seat in the thing with three mm -hmm. vented eights. Mm -hmm. So before you go too far, I'm gonna give you my input because okay. I have a chance to play in, in this booth. So these two bikes, guys, they're two different bikes. My man Andy knows what he's doing with bikes, and he's demoing these bikes in the booth. Now, there's two different styles because one bike, the blue one I'm talking about, yep. is stealthy. Oh yeah. You don't see any physical drivers going on. You don't know what's going. On. You got to kind of dive a little bit deeper into it. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. But open those lids. Check out the craftsmanship. If you're here, check that out. It's got some nice yellow baskets in there. Thing sounds dope. Yeah. But then there's this gray one. <laughs> Bro, this gray one probably does damage to small animals within the vicinity of, you know, 100 meters. For you, that's 60 feet. Right. Okay. I think small animals <laughs> cannot survive that space if that thing is on full. It's it's impressive. And it's, you know, when, when you start saying, okay, there's two hydrogen 12s in the bags. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, yeah, the new Slims, those are really good. No, no, no. Full body hydrogen cells. It is absolutely insane what Andy managed to do with, Bro, those, with those bags. I don't say this lightly, but this bike jams down low. Yes. Yeah. The suspension is down low and the bass frequency is down low. You, If you ever get a chance, if you're not here, too bad. But if you ever get a chance to hear this bike, ask for a demo. 
you don't need long to understand what's going on. All right, exactly. I want I want to touch on I want to touch on Doug's. I mean the Jeep. The Jeep is the Jeep. It's loud. It's clear. It's fun. It matches the vehicle. I want to take a minute to talk about this Q5. This Q5 is special. Absolutely. So somebody on here mentioned Q5. Yes, it is a Q5, and it is an unassuming build because let's be honest. I did the math on it. It's not a crazy gear list. Did I say not Q5? I don't know what I did. Whatever. No, no, he was just confirming oh, okay. his yeah. Q5. Q5. Um, it's not like a fifty thousand dollar gear list. No. No. Okay. No. So that, I want to make this clear. The tune on this car, man. I, I know. I seen them working on it. We're going to talk about that in a second. I had a chance to hear this car the previous show. I heard it again here. This is a car that literally makes you feel like this is what I want because you know it's not over the top. It's not ridiculous. There's no motorized panels. There's not you know ridiculous gear that you the average guy can't afford. Speaking of ridiculous gear, we're going to get to ridiculous gear just in case you're wondering. But I want to talk about this Q5. Yes, it's in his lap. We're going to talk about this. All right. So what did you want to achieve with that Q5? What When, when people come into this car, what do you want them to feel when, when they leave that vehicle? So that's it's really one of those cool things that this is one of those vehicles, again, when we think, you know, it, it's Doug. So it's it's an SQ build. And, and when you think SQ build, it's I broke the budget. I did all the crazy things. I did the nonsense. And it's great, and it's amazing, and it's accurate repro reproduction of sound. But this this car was really built in, in a different mindset. Like you said, it's it's obtainable to a point that you can walk into a great shop and get a great result, and let them concentrate on the fab and the prep work and maximizing your budget while utilizing very good products mm -hmm. at a less than jaw dropping price point. It, it's and when I was like, you know, what, what's your goal here? And he's all versatility. The first time I heard this thing, he gets in, is playing this drum solo track from, I want to say Slipknot. I might be mistaken on that. And he's got it up to 11. And I'm just feeling the impact of this SQ build. And I got a chill down my spine. And I can't tell you the last time I heard an SQ build that gave me chills. Yo, and that's had, really like, what it hair is. Hair standing up. I watched it, it. It, it generates an emotional response. Yes. I will say this. If you haven't had a chance to listen to, to Ground Zero, do yourself a favor. If you're a bike guy, obviously check out the bikes. If you're a car audio guy, do yourself a favor. Get yourself in one of these demo vehicles. Now, we're going to talk about something that gets me pretty darn excited. You were on a CMA earlier on this year when Ground Zero Europe announced this, what other word I can use, a ridiculous line of product. Unapologetic. Unap unapologetic called Ultra. Yes. In the Ground Zero booth at this show at Master Tech, they brought the goods. More importantly, Jacobs brought the goods. Show this on the camera. Don't hurt yourself. Oh my God, this thing is okay. So this is the Ground Zero Ultra Pure SQ amplifier and the Ultra Series. The Ultra Series, from what I've learned, is amplification. Yes, sir. And front stage drivers. Correct. Two ways so far. Correct. This is over the top price point, guys. We're talking about highest end possible. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. This is not your quick and easy, quick and dirty build. Correct. Oh, no, absolutely not. So why is it important that Ground Zero has put in the effort, the investment, the time, the resources to develop this level product? Well, let's start with the obvious. Ground Zero has always done this level of product. Um, you know, a lot of their early, early products within the, you know, 20, 25 years ago is extreme high end, whether it's SPL or SQ. They have always done something that is above and beyond what's going on. So when you look at the A2, the A2, when I say unapologetic, the A2 is unapologetic. This is what we consider the end all be all of SQ amplifiers. It is a true dual mono, it is hand built. Uh, we have gone through and removed crossovers. We've gone through and done all of the things that need to be done to an SQ amplifier. We've also kind of reimagined what we feel is important. So instead of a variable gain, it's resistor-based switches. We use top of the line gear. The the bias adjustment for that is is on off. It's not variable because we feel like if this is what you're doing with this amplifier, it is going to be one of these very few things. Um, so really, unapologetic is the best way to is the best way to say it. There have been there have been articles written about the ultra line where people have legitimately stated in more or less words there will not be nor ever has been something better and for us to be able to be the brand behind that statement uh or that you know paraphrased statement is absolutely incredible you know what i enjoy 
I just love doing my job because I get to keep things like this that people bring onto the show. <laughs> Oh, oh I'm you, gonna pass that back. Hey, you can keep it. It doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair I enough. I removed parts just for you. All right. All right. So, I mean, I think we've done the tour. Our time is up. But at the end of the day, Ground Zero is here to in your vehicle so people can experience the product, mm -hmm. hear it, listen to it. If you sit down with your rep or anybody at the booth, they'll explain to you the different the versatility is the word I like to use when it comes to Ground Zero. Oh, absolutely. Versatility as a complete solution for your shop. All the sound SQ, SPL, high end, mid rate street whatever you want to call it if you think you if you think it we do it there you go jacob my man yes sir i will talk to you soon i'll see you back at the at the booth yes sir stay out of trouble that was jacob representing hki and of course ground zero up next we've got well he's somewhat of a legend and he brings a brings a lot of presence yeah. with him when he walks around the show every the, the crowd like literally parts oh, yeah. when you're walking around whatever and i am amazed larry that you even made the time to sit down with me here Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Penn from MSC. How are you doing, Larry? Top of the world, dude. Top of so the world. So first of all, I don't understand how you're keeping up this level of energy. You must be downing like 10 Red Bulls because you are a busy man, sir. Yeah, it's been a, a great show so far. We've had a lot of pre-show activities uh, that we did. So. Well, okay. Well, let's break it down. There's a, I got notes here. We're going right. to cover it all for you. So you have taken a lot of time preparing, planning what you were going to do here. You had specific goals in mind to engage dealers, right? Absolutely. So I want to give you that opportunity to kind of, now that things have, are in motion and certain parts of your plan have now actually come to fruition, how did those things work out and what did people miss if they weren't here? Yeah, so the, the first thing we did, and I'm my days are running together, but I think it was Saturday night. Saturday night? Yeah, let's call it. Let's call yeah, it was Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Um, we are real super excited because Audio Tech Fisher uh, is launching what they call the Compose speaker range. Um, Hold up. Y'all didn't hear that? Brand new speaker range, and it's called Compose. Keep going. So we've been teasing about that and bugging Ben for the past 10 months or so uh, on what's what's happening in that camp. So we wanted to do something different. Uh, it's not just a box. It's a culture. It's a, a way of doing business, and it has to do with music. So and compose is kind of if you look up the definition of compose there's many different meanings but one of the thing is to create something you're composing something mm -hmm. pick your composition so kickoff event kickoff event mm -hmm. yeah so we invited a bunch of dealers in um we had i think 70 people representing 43 stores uh, many people's flights got delayed and canceled so we would have we had a hundred RSVPs, but sixty-seven ended up showing up because of flight flight delays and stuff. But we enlisted the Mountain View High School uh, electric string and jazz. Ensemble. Only Larry Penn would have done anything <laughs> like that. I'm just saying, keep going. So if you know the two thousand one Space Odyssey theme, you know the and then the big timpani drum that goes bong 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 mm -hmm. bong. So here's a our our future uh, clients on stage in the conference theater here at the Mesa Convention Center. And um, they they did uh, two songs. They did the, um, what's the adventure guy? The adventure movie. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I can't remember the name. Of that they did song. two songs. They did Live. two songs. Yeah. Full instruments but the, in one the so, but the one song was 2001 Space Odyssey. And Chris from our office had created the, the DSB Cowboy, he's referred DSB to, nobody Cowboy, knows him yeah, as Chris, yeah. so you have to say DSB so Cowboy. So the sun being viewed over the earth, and then it opened up into space, and as, here's this 17-year-old kid with these two big timpani drums, and I'm a percussion freak, so he's banging on these timpani drums, bum, 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 in the theater, and then we bring up a picture of the Compose uh, speaker range. And then uh, we guys, went, don't worry. We went I'm going to ask Larry about the composed speaker range. We'll circle back to that. We're not. Don't worry. I got you. So, okay. Yeah. And then fast forward. So now you have this big presentation. This was a dealer event only, right? The dealer people event, to invitational unveiling, event. Yeah. right? And you also served beef on a bun. Right? We did beef on a bun, turkey on a okay. bun, drinks, whatever. Fast whatever's forward gonna... to Sunday night. Everybody last gets night. registered. Last night. Last night. We go and we. Head over to the Mesa Amphitheater, which is, by the way, just so you guys understand, this is like a complex, right? This is like ABC building. And then just outside, if you just follow a little path, there's this outdoor amphitheater. 
Beautiful, what did MSC do there? Venue. What did MSC well, do there? Well, as you know, we're always about live music. So we brought uh, Justin Hopkins in, who uh, competed on The Voice. Uh, we used him last year in our little intimate setting at the hotel or courtyard. This year it was full stage. Um, we had everything going on. It was absolutely amazing. So he rocked the place for a couple hours. We sponsored the live concert, Brian and Sirius XM and Sony um, and Mesa uh, sponsored the, the dinner and stuff. And we had a launch party. I got to say that had to do with music. That was all fun. The, the quality, the sound was good. The performance was amazing. Every instrument was crisp. And how, how nerve wracking. I was thinking to myself, and these guys are performing in front of a whole crowd of audio geeks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. They were doing sound check and he was going, we're doing sound check. Yeah. And we better make sure it sounds good <laughs> because these are audio people. Exactly. Yeah, was, that was absolutely was a lot. fun. All right. Needless to say, Larry, you put a lot of resources, time, effort, all that into this event. So, you know, there was a, a, a purpose. There was a plan behind all this. You knocked it. This for, for, for MSC, for Audio Tech Fisher, was about the new line of the new series the new range of speakers called compose now let's yeah. let's break that down my first question is this replacing something existing or is no. this an entirely new uh, series? it's a completely new platform or ecosystem if you will in terms of speaker technology and uh, not something we're going to be able to cover in uh, five minutes here we'll circle back on the details yeah. but i want to give you the the, the cold uh, notes it's um it's a completely new ecosystem speaker where with one speaker, you can cover any universal application you may want to use the speakers in, as well as take care of any specific vehicle fitment using our composed bayonet mount system. Sorry, I was going to bring it, but the booth is packed and they're using the Well, you know, props it's bad the on them because so. if they were here. Yeah, if you were here, man, mm -hmm. you'd see it. Mm -hmm. Not right. only see it, but you'd hear it. Touch and feel it, hear it. Yeah. Okay, so brand new ecosystem, like you said, brand yeah. new platform. I yep. can tell you this, there's different levels in pricing and quality. You can, it's a good, better, best kind of scenario. Yep. The highest end, we're talking German made. Yep. I had, I'm going to share something with you, Larry. I had the pleasure of hanging out with, you know who? Julian. Mr. Julian Fisher. Julian Fisher. CEO, owner he was, of he was a disaster because he like he told me he's been on a flight for like nine years. It took him 51 <laughs> hours to get here. But but here's, here's what I want to get to. Um, he felt compelled to kind of explain to me the story behind the development the reasons for the challenges he had three and a half year development yes. time to get this series out. He's, he's gleaming with pride now that it's here. Now yeah. let's be clear. This, it's not in stock yet. It's not shipping yet. Right. Till April. Till April. So it's yeah. close. It's really, really close. Yeah. So you're going to have to stay tuned for more information. Absolutely. How are your customers experiencing what Compose is about at the show? So we have a Porsche 992 C4S cab here. Uh, that's got the new Compose i7 three-way kit in it with the 8-inch in the door with our V12 DSP amplifier that since I saw you this morning till now, I've been in that car demoing, line up to get in to see it. We've got uh, Stefan, there's four guys from Germany here. Stefan, the mechanical engineer of all this stuff, has been at the display that we have mm -hmm. showing how the mechanics of this stuff work. I've been demoing it. Julian's been talking about the history and the technology from a sales and marketing and design perspective. And uh, we got our booth outside. I was just going to say, let's not forget, <laughs> beyond this indoor booth that Larry's talking about, there's also another outdoor experience. So what's going on over there? So we got a 30 by 50 foot tent out there, and that is specific to our Systems by MSC product. So we're we're merging compose in our systems by oh, msc oh, hold on so compose is now going to be part of systems by msc correct we're using the compose speaker platform as part of systems by msc so we've got a bronco raptor uh, f-150 and f-250 outside we've got a 30 by 50 tent all led lit inside carpet on the ground product displays all of our displays so dealers can see the displays that we offer to them what they actually look like what they actually sound like so yeah, it's been a monumental, uh, monumental task getting this all together. And we're only day but, one. Yeah, we're only day one, and uh, I'm I'm recharged because uh, we've been bell to bell. We're he downs we're Red Bulls nonstop. Just <laughs> <seems. laughs> okay, right. final thing before I let you go, I heard you drop some news, so I'm just gonna throw you under the bus right here. Sure. Um, obviously, audio is on the menu for sure. 
Yeah. But uh, you're kind of known for doing a lot of CI custom radar business. So what's on the news for that? Well, our, our uh, proof of concept retail store uh, is radar is a huge, huge part of our business. And we've been working uh, with the escort people for many, many years. Uh, we co-distributed uh, the product in Canada. And uh, Escort had made an announcement today, a completely new CI product that they're launching here at the show. Don't give it away because uh, he's coming on. Oh, he's coming, away. Okay, he's coming I, on. I won't say anything I'll, more. I'll give him the thunder. But I, I will tell you that we're the exclusive uh, distributor in Canada for that product. And we will also, for our uh, core independent dealer base, we will also, um, they will be able to source their on-dash portable radar detector product from us as well. Um, so we can now go to market in the Canadian market with a full-on training assault on this new system. That'll be exclusive through us. We look forward to supporting all the specially independent dealers because it will only be available in specially independent dealers. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other big news for our U.S. clients is we now have uh, distribution rights all through the U.S. on all things uh, Escort as well as all things Cedar Electronics. So. Um, a big deal for us. It's a big celebration for us. Our team has been working super hard. A name for ourselves. We're on our six-year anniversary now. Um, so yeah, we're we're pumped. Big news on the on the custom radar front. Escort. Brady's coming on. So beauty. I appreciate. I'm sure that you didn't give it away. Brady's going to talk about this new product. Larry, we're going to let you go. Get back All right, to man. Group. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, take care. Woo, we're going to keep that ball rolling. Who do we got next? Oh, we got a good one. Come on down. Oh, he's got goodies. I love it when they bring goodies. I love it when they bring goodies. This guy's coming equipped. None other. Representing Orca. My man. My big Texan stud. Nick. Oh, good Lord. Wingate, what's going on? I don't know about all that. You know you're a stud. Stop it. You know you're a stud. What's going on, sir? Your brother. You're a hustling. I never. So I see Nick every time I put my head up. He's running across. He's grabbing boxes. He's tuning machines. I can't believe you actually made it on time here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's okay, I was here sir. 15 minutes ago. I know. You were I know, busy. But there's people that like to talk on my show. Yeah, I know. Larry was here. Larry does talk. All right. So, man, <laughs> so much going on at the show. Everybody's got energized. There's stuff happening in the industry, yeah. which got me energized. Um, I guess let's start with what's happening. So you guys have a footprint. I noticed. I see Nalika up inside with a yep. footprint with a full cow display, mm -hmm. right? That's right yep. near the stage. I'm kind of like I'm really feeling the outdoor space myself. It kind of brings me back. That's where I am. I'm I, I, am. I know, right? And you guys got two vehicles. So what vehicles you got showed outside? Um, actually, there's three. Come closer. Come closer. Okay. Yeah. There's uh, there's three vehicles yeah. outside. Oh, there's three. Yeah. There's a four door Kia. There's a four door Camry. The Kia. I forgot about the Kia. I'm sorry. Yes. Actually, there's four. I just remember. Uh, the Kia Camry, uh, there is Nalka's Bronco mm -hmm. with enough power in it to probably power all of Phoenix. <laughs> and then Chris Pate has his F-350 here uh, with a very modest system in it. It's just a Utopia 3-way or Utopia 10. You're getting some love on here. Christian says that hey, you Hey, Christian, appreciate it, brother. Thank all you. Right, there you go. Uh, so you got and, four vehicles. Are you responsible for tuning all of them or? No, Barney's responsible for tuning all. Barney, it's funny that you mentioned that, Nick, because it's kind of an acronym and a name that we've been throwing around. And I was hoping that you would bring Barney to the show. We talked about it last time. And look at you. You brought Barney. So, okay, straight this, to the gate. What um, is Barney? This is, well, this is Barney, and you can see Barney is rather unique. Uh, Barney has the most amazing hearing of any anybody right now in the world. Uh, Barney can hear phase. Yeah, Barney can hear a face. He's born with the, with the ability to He's, hear a face. He can do that. Uh, Barney does a lot of other really cool things. He uh, measures time. Uh, measures time. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah, no. He measures channel distance between each individual speaker in your head. Yeah, the folks at Audio Control get mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, Barney does a lot of really cool things. Um, Barney is part of a system that is available with... Uh, Moscone's DSPs. And Barney is pretty amazing. Um, yeah, you can see there's a microphone there and there's a microphone here. And Barney is designed to where he actually is mimicking human hearing and how we hear in a car. And M Barney measures phase for each individual speaker, mm -hmm. measures uh, the phase inside the automobile, 
measures what is room modes or modals in the room. Uh, Barney will measure the frequency response. Barney will correct for an awful lot of the phase problems in the car so when it comes to crossover in conjunction with the software in conjunction with he the software. doesn't do it himself no just to clear it up. barney gets a lot of help from the software Correct. and the dsp Correct. and the gentlemen who have been writing the code um we got last night uh we tuned nalika's bronco last night which by the way i need to mention i noticed there's something different about it this time yeah it seems to me there's more channels in there no 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 movement we turn move channels on oh, okay because barney aligned all of them this ah morning. barney had something to say about it. barney had a lot to say about it. i see gotcha. and uh it's gotten substantially more dynamic i think it's gotten a little more loud it's gotten louder for sure but it's it's when you sit in it you feel like you're at li you're in a live concert it's got that kind of and dynamics. And isn't, isn't that, that what it's about? Goes. Well, that's kind of what I've, I've always done. I, I mean, I'm in that school. You know, yeah. and uh, Barney's responsible for it. So if you have, but so Barney is an acronym. I don't know what it stands for. I can't remember yet. It's still new. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be one of us. I'm learning. It's, it's an acronym. binaural. It's a binaural record, not measuring system yes. in the shape of a human head. That's what the right. takeaway is. Yeah. It works with the Moscone software yes. for DSP. Yes. Okay. And if you connect with Nick and the team at Orca, they will teach you. And if you're here, they will demo you how it works. That's the takeaway. Oh, yeah. If you're here, we're going to do this tonight. Beauty. There will be, there will be a class on it. The gentleman actually has been working with the uh, the design engineers. He's here. He actually lives here in the United States. And uh, he's he's going to be showing everybody how this thing works tonight. Awesome. Let me take Barney from you for a second. Because I made I made Nick work. I said, Nick, how many times have you been on the show with me now? You're talking, talking, talking about this amplifier. That you're all blown away about and all this stuff so i made you bring it let's talk let's bring this back so now here it is in person that's the a channel isn't it yep this is the pro 830 and i'm going to try and move it to where everybody can see it you know this what i'm gonna help you with that. Hold on a it second. is not a small it is not it is folks. not it's heavy for sure. um this is it's staggered power you keep talking i'm going to show them okay here, this here is go. uh it's 90 watts a channel by four and it's 170 watts a channel by four it has a built-in um, 8 to 12 DSP processor in which it controls all eight channels of, internally on the amplifier. And then it has four analog outputs that the DSP will, have, will control as well. Uh, digital inputs as, as well as, as the analog inputs uh, will accept quite a bit of voltage on the input side. If I remember correctly, it accepts up to 30 volts of input uh, on the, some of the channels. It's, it's really impressive. Did I mention there's red fans? I'm just saying. I, I know. You know how much I love the red fans. Oh, I know. And and, and, and I, I'm biased, but I think it's the best looking amplifier. It is well certainly thought. one of the sexier amplifiers. I, I, it know, really is. I get in trouble if I say best. You know you can't put me in that position. Uh, it's okay. I can. <laughs> so this amplifier has been causing waves because of, I think, two things. A, obviously, the, the way it looks. It, mm -hmm. it looks incredible. But the versatility in Extremely. building systems. And it's class AB. This is not class D. This is class AB. This is sound quality through the nose. Um, you can you can do eight channels. You can do six channels. You can do five channels. There's a lot of different ways of using the amplifier. There it is, um, folks. Boom. If you want to hear some of this stuff, go check out the Bronco. It's loaded with Moscone amps. You know what? i got to say, um, I, I came here the other day, and you were in the middle of tuning that Kia. How did that turn out? What is that Kia about? The Kia sounds pretty good. It's a very simple system. Um, it's it's three amplifiers as uh, a two enclosures as far as the subs are concerned but we're putting five and a quarter inch subs two in each enclosure in the back seat and it has a simple six and a half inch two-way in the front it's a fully active system and that's it i mean that's the whole thing it's six channels and you got barney to tune it and barney tuned it beauty it took 20 minutes you heard me right. So it no, took 20 minutes. so you know, I was calling you on BS before when you're, but now I've seen him do it. So I'm gonna. No, go. you heard the Tesla last no, time. I, no, no, no. But the, the the tuning part, dude, it actually takes 20 minutes. It's nowhere to lie. I'm not kidding. It is what it is. <laughs> and it's amazing yeah, what it can it's do. It's pretty crazy. Nick, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna keep you any longer. Thank you so much it's for bringing the props. Good to see you always. Oh no, anytime, man. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for you, brother. I'm gonna try to make it into that training. I want to hear all about Barney. Please do. But I have a feeling we're, this is not the last time we'll be talking about Barney this year. No, I as think you, you're learning with her too, right? Uh, about two or three weeks, we're gonna. 
I'm going to be doing the training for Barney at, at your show. Damn! So you Canadian guys, you come to see him at That's blatant advertisement. By there the he way. goes. Nick is dropping it right there. He's talking about Barney at his training. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Take brother. care. Good to see you. I'll give you your amplifier, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. And you here we go. Barney. Barney, come across the screen. There it is. Thank you, Take sir. Take care. Take care. All right. Woo! So much stuff. Did I tell you there was a lot going on at the show? It is un. Believable how much stuff is going on at the show. I'm going to take a quick sip of water here as we continue with our guests reporting live, of course, from Master Tech Expo here in Mesa, Arizona, day one. So many activities going on. We've got the outdoor expo going on, like we mentioned, different competitions happening all at the same time. You got the Watt Clean Wire Challenge. We got Dean and Fernando taking care of that, right? You got Mark at Carfab emceeing the competition happening on the main stage. Uh, with the with the Rock for Fosgate build off, don't forget there's also the Viper installer challenge going on as well. Whew, too much hype. I guess I'm talking to Chris next. What's going on, brother? What's up, big man? Now, come closer, come closer. Come on in. First oh. of all, shake my hand. Let's get cozy. What's Let's up, push. Chris Bula, Sony? So, oh, first of all, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you, man. This Always. Is, this is such a busy show. It's every second I turn, there's something else happening. I'm talking to somebody else. So many different activities happen at the same time. I'm happy you're here. We want to talk about Sony Sony Mobile ES in particular because I have a feeling that's kind of what you're putting out there as your presence at the show. Am I right? Yeah, for sure. We always uh, we love the Mobile ES products. It's um, I think it fits this show really well because there's a lot of technicians and a lot of fab guys here, and uh, those products were designed to be installable, right? And uh, I think the biggest kind of benefit is they're installer friendly, easy to put in, easy to set up. And easy to get great sound out of, right? We're, so, we're going to uh, get to the That's product. the big part. Right? I, want, so. I want to let these guys know who are watching this either live or a little bit later on. You know, hey, what's going on in Master Tech, right? This is right? your CMA sure. covering. Yeah, okay, so sure. what is what is your footprint? What is the Sony footprint here? What do you show in? What are the vehicles? So we've got our booth inside first. Um, so pretty standard stuff. We've got our mobile ES display that we just launched uh, for our ES dealers. Uh, they can get that. They, we've got a bigger display as well. It's available to all retailers. Um, and then on the outside, we've got two different demo vehicles. We've got Jared Bali's uh, Toyota Tacoma, um, and it's got all of our mobile ES product inside it, um, and PlayStation and TV. And Overlander. On the outside. Yeah, the guy yeah. can go camping or zombie, room up top. zombie hunting. Yeah, whatever he wants to do, he can do <laughs> yep. in, that, in that Tacoma, right? It's yep. pretty awesome stuff. And then next to it out there, we've got a uh, Tesla. It's one of our top 10 uh sony mobile es demo car build off finalists what, that was the competition you guys yeah ran? yeah we had a competition okay. where um more than 70 vehicles were entered in that competition it's pretty awesome stuff only sony mobile ES? yeah they could they, okay. they had to put sony mobile ES into a demo car that they okay. would actively use in their store so i mean it did a great favor for us right we got 70 demo cars across the country built um, and had 70 awesome entry. I mean, some of the vehicles we saw were just amazing, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And turns out the top three, uh, you know, winners, first, second, and third place, are all here at the show. Not with their cars, but but they're all here at the show. The shops, you mean, the so, shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, pretty absolutely. awesome stuff. So. And this this particular one that you're mentioning came in which position? I don't remember. It's top 10 for it's sure. It's the top 10 yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it's a finalist. Yeah, for okay, sure. fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. And so people are here. They get to send these vehicles, get demoed, hear, you know, what – the sound of these products generate in a real life situation. Now, what I'm most impressed with, and I think I might have mentioned it to you, maybe not. I'm gonna stroke you a little bit here. Like, I think I give much respect, mad props for the fact. Listen to what I'm about to say: that Sony Mobile ES decided to incorporate and offer a three-way kit. I've never said that to you. Yeah. And there's yeah. a reason why I want to say that. Okay. Sony is a source unit predominant, you know, known manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And in that game, you know, there's not a whole lot of three-way. For Sony to recognize that not only is that the way to go to get optimum sound, mm -hmm. that that is kind of the trend yeah. of where high-end builds are going, says something about the people, the minds behind the product, the design. Yes, I know you're a part of that team. Uh, yeah, I appreciate so, the compliment. Yeah, importantly, I got the chance. I'm going to speak for myself. I heard the pillars, the setup in the Tacoma. Mm -hmm. Man, that stuff sounds good. It's good stuff. I mean, it's, it's good stuff. It's really well built. Like, I mean, got a great warranty, easy there, to install. Dude, there's some I mean, crazy cars here. Yep. And I've had the privilege, you know, I to sit down and listen to these cars. Bro, that, that stuff is right there. Yeah, for sure. 
Like, you need to Just know this. Yeah. I'm telling you this. Listen to it. If you haven't had the chance, listen to it. For the love of God, at least listen to it. All right. Um, let's talk about the gear. So, obviously, lots of installers, you know, techs that are here. Yep. What do you th what do you want them to know about? Let's talk about amp. I think amplifiers where we need to talk about. Yeah, the amps are a big deal for us, right? So we had to kind of uh, start from scratch when we we're designing these mobile ES amps for two reasons. One is we just we wanted to bring big power, right? Because I mean, it's cool to put an amp in that sounds good, but if it doesn't deliver the power that you want, you're still looking for something more, right? So we had to deliver some power, and these things are top notch. They pound, you know, man. I they, mean, jam. They, they're, they jam. They're epically, mm -hmm. I mean, they're very powerful stuff. And then the, uh, I mean, the five channel is one of the most powerful five channels in the market. Um, and uh, and then the installability was the second level. Like we had to make sure that the guys at the back of the house, right? The guys in the shop, the techs that are putting these things in didn't hate them, right? Because they control the sales up the front, right? Yeah, they're I like, mean, stop selling yeah, these. Like, we can't put these in. Exactly That's not what right. you want to hear. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So it was a big deal for us to make them installable and installer friendly. And that, like, we're all tech, like, the guys on our team are all techs. We've all done this. We've all installed a ton of stuff. We still do. Um, so it was very important to us that we kind of met that match, right? Mm -hmm. So, so what makes it versatile? Can, can you touch on yeah, one or two Yeah, I mean, things? it's so you can flip the amps upside down, rotate the logos, stuff like that. So it's presentable to a, you know, to the installation for the custom fab job that's going on to it. Um, and then the inputs and the outputs. So we've got the ability to combine signals and uh, we've got we've got filter setups on the different channels mm -hmm. um, for high pass, low pass or band pass. Pretty awesome stuff. There's not many, uh, you know, amps out there that have that built into it. Right. So you can do everything full active from the amp itself. And these are switches. Necessary. Yeah. All switches. This is not software app. Yeah. This is like. I want to yeah that. yeah no no app at all there's no bluetooth connectivity mm -hmm. um no dsp or anything like that built into it um but these are these are powerful and you can be creative with the install on the inputs the outputs right we have a uh, an output that you can configure to uh to combine multiple channels and, and all that good stuff on the way out of it so even even just on the input output side you've got a thousand different options yeah a lot of system building up you know opportunities yeah. and avenues yeah, and sure. you know, if, if you're looking for that OEM integration solution, this could be something you want to take a closer look at. That could integrate easily, but give you power and options. So this gives you some options too. If you are, if you've got a customer that's, may, they want good speakers, they want good amps, but they maybe don't have the extra budget for a simple DSP type setup or some sort of, you know, line output adapter that you're trying to combine some signals together from an OEM mm -hmm. radio, for mm -hmm. instance, which is. You know predominantly what's happening nowadays um this gives you the tools that you can do that within the amp itself so lots of cool stuff there for sure by the way i challenged myself to sit down with chris Bula for an interview and not mention the 9500 ah, see i didn't say I knew you, you did. were gonna do it right? <laughs> no I knew no we're, we're not we don't need to talk about it no you but it's there it's, it's in there. every vehicle for sure uh yeah. it's in the booth you want to yep. go touchy feel yet Right. There's some new displays in the booth. Touchy feely, it's a new term. Touchy right? feely, yeah. all about the touchy feely. But uh, there's some new displays. You kind of got a compact display and you know a full range display. Yep. Back to Sony for being here to supporting this type of event to show the technology that you bring to the table yep. and to bring some cool whips that people enjoy and experience. What that's all about. Awesome. I love it. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Ben. We'll see you Take care, buddy. buddy. See you. That's Chris Bueller from Sony. I got one more coming to the joint today. We save them for last because this is probably next to Brian Schmidt, the busiest man in the building. Get in on here. Uh, Come on in here. Sit right next to me. Uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, represent JL Audio, Mr. Steve Teresi. How, How are you doing? man? Good to see you. First of all, this is my first time meeting Steve in person. I did not realize that he is such a giant man. <laughs> I am huge. He's huge. <laughs> huge. I'm not that small. And he makes me feel small next to him. Anyways, so. Are oh, you talking about girth or height, though? But you take whatever you want. I'm just, I'm just dishing out, you know. As far as how you, you know, interpret that, that's up to you. All right, I got you. Okay. So, man, I see you guys roll in yesterday, drink set up. Yeah. see Manville there, Bright's there, Mergenthal's there, yeah. Hyatt's. Like, you guys are going to roll in deep. We're we come here. deep. We come roll deep. deep, baby. You have a singular vehicle in your booth. We do. So, I'm going to talk about that. Um, and obviously, a lot of yellow signage, which has to do with Max, right? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, let's be yeah. honest. We've been talking enough times, Steve. I know if I see you coming, we're going to be talking about Max. Yeah, I get it. Do it. Yeah. It's, it's what's happening right now. All right. 
So let's start with the footprint. What was, you, you know, you know that Master Tech Expo is kind of unique as a show, the type of people that it draws. What was, you know, when you're sitting down with the team, like, guys, what do we want to show at the show? What was the thought process and how did that come to fruition? Yeah, so um, the, the Master Tech Expo, the way we see it is it's usually fabricators and hands-on people, people that want to, like, get involved and, and touch and feel and do things. So mm -hmm. what we wanted was, a, first of all, have a good audio demonstration. So the Cadillac is a really good audio demonstration featuring all the, you know, the best of the best, the C7, W7s, the VXI amps, Max 2, and the whole nine. Uh, so we wanted that as an experience, but we also wanted, of course, with Max, more hands-on stuff. And we've been, uh, as you know, because we've talked so much over the years or so, we've been talking about the acoustic measurements using the five mic array and all that stuff. And I think people sort of get that. But I think one thing that's left out is the electrical measurements you can take with Max. And as for a crowd like this, we wanted to focus on some of those electrical measurements and show that this is a tool and it's not just an acoustic thing. It's something that can do lots more things than just what uh, has been more prominent in, in the marketplace. Let me let me break this down for you guys. I had the chance, of course, to visit Steve in his booth. So when you come to jail, I guess there's two experiences there that is. you can do. So let's talk about the car. Got it. Rob gave me a demo of the car. Oh, good. I made sure you demoed it before we talked. Good. So finally, I got a chance to hear a full top to bottom JL audio, all the components, like you said, C7 components up front, VXI amplifiers, W7s, all the best of the best that JL has to offer is in this car, all tied together mm -hmm. with Max 2. Correct. Okay. It was a tasty experience. Uh, I like that. That That's is the word I came up with because the tasty. Let's, let me tell you something. Tasty. Okay. And if prove me wrong. <laughs> But W7s are tasty bass. All right? W7 produced tasty bass. This whole thing tied together. We heard beautiful sound stage. Yes, it was a, a, a driver's seat position tune. Of course. Okay? Mm -hmm. Elevated stage, nice and wide, concise position of the vocals in yeah. the middle. Um, the mid bass kicking me in the chest as if it was in the front. Love that. It was all there. Everything you talked about came to life. And Rob gave me a great demo on it. Good. So that's Good. one experience. So then we're talking about this Cadillac. What model is that? It's a CTS4 or something like it's that? It's an SUV. Mini SUV. <laughs> All right. That's one part of it. And it's a brilliant install. Nice and clean. Super Thank nice. You. Okay. Then if you go to, over to this screen that you have on, you've got all these fancy lines and graphs that, you know, and then you <laughs> the see pretty the pretty lines, right? Which I now know are the phase uh -huh. and all that. Okay. So let's go dive a little bit deeper. What exactly are you showing them physically? Okay. So, um... We have a factory radio that we've removed from the vehicle and we have wires hooked up to the output of it. So we're able to um, send signal through the radio mm -hmm. and measure the output of the radio so we can determine what's going on for OEM integration. And one of the things that we can do is actually look at the output and model it and determine if there's an all-pass filter on that channel or not. So, um, so you're establishing what signal you're getting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the frequency domain. We can do time domain measurements through it as well, much like we can with acoustic uh, information with the microphones. Um, but this is doing it in the electrical domain. And, of course, the question is, what do you do about that? Well, knowing is after battle. And depending on what tool set you have when you're doing your tuning or you're adjusting or whatever you're going to do, you can offset some of those things or choose to accept it and look at it on the on the pulse end, on the acoustic end later. So we have that ability to do those measurements. And the other cool thing that we're doing is we got uh, – we, we found some speakers, two speakers, and one was damaged, but it still played. And you're probably wondering, oh, why would we be oh, I, know, I know where this is going. Speaker. I know where this is going. Yeah. So we can measure impedance, right? Mm. So you can actually send a signal through a speaker. And if you take the good speaker, you have a nice resonant peak, and it tapers the way it normally and would. And as in a, a normally functioning non-damaged one, you'll see. Correct, yeah. Yes. And okay. you'll see a very distinct right, shape right, right, to it. But then right. when you take the damaged one and you connect that, it looks radically different. And we're not just talking a little shift. The entire shape of it is very different. It's clearly not doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you can analyze to see if there's something wrong with the speaker. Another thing you can do with um, mm. impedance measurement, and uh, Matt taught me this trick, and I thought it was really awesome. If you're working on an install and you have a speaker in the door, and you, you put the door panels back on, and you're playing the system, it sounds like something's wrong. You can actually connect the impedance uh, probe to the speaker and push the door panel. And if the impedance curve changes, the panel... Is it physically? Yes. So instead of having to like peek in there to see Never what's going on, you could actually push on the door panel and see the change in impedance. So we're demonstrating how to do some of those things as well. So those are the two experiences going down. You also have trainings going? We do. Yes, we're doing a night school tonight. Mm -hmm. And then on Wednesday morning, we have two different sessions that we'll be training. So tonight's kind of fun. Um, you know, Obviously, we make a big deal about Max, and we love Max, and we think it's a really good measuring system. But Tune Software, Tune 4.0 uh, Software, 
uh, and, and newer, uh, you can use a USB mic. You don't have to. Yes, right. You don't have to give us any money. You can just download the software. <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> oh, we'd like you to. Please buy stuff. But, um, no, reality is uh, the Tune software is free. You can download that. On a the regular app. USB mic. Yeah. Just Doesn't matter. Plug it in, select it in there, and you can start taking measurements. Mm -hmm. And uh, for several years now, we've talked about the 10 minute tune. And the 10 minute tune is, as the name would imply, a quick way of tuning a DSP. That's right. So, using free software and a mic that you may already have, we go through the process tonight of using tune with a USB microphone to do a 10 minute tune. We'll go through the interface, we'll kind of show you how to configure things and talk about the steps of what's involved in a 10 minute tune and why it's so important to do that. As a tail on the end, we'll say, and if you had Max, these are the other things that you added benefits. Also, added, added benefits. Added benefits, exactly. Added benefits. Added and benefits. then on Wednesday, we have two uh, kind of neat sessions. Um, one is taking electrical measurements with Max, kind of mm -hmm. a, a spin-off of the demo that's in the booth, getting into exactly what to do, how to do that, and why you would do that with mm -hmm. all the electrical measurements. We're also going to do a really neat presentation with a single USB microphone of finding the best location in a vehicle for a subwoofer using the, the software and a USB mic. To that's find interesting. The best one. Yeah, cool. And that's practical. Like That's it one of the first decisions yeah. you need to make before exactly. you even exactly. lay it out. So, I mean, I'll be honest, because it's, it's just you and I, no one else is watching. Right? Nobody else is <laughs> just me and you. So obviously, you know, Max is a really great thing to to buy. We would love people to do that, but there's so much you can do without it. There's mm -hmm. so many different things that you can do. We want people to be able to do those things. That's why a lot of it's free. But if you are going to use Max, we want Max to be in the car right away. So a car comes into an install bay. We want Max in there taking electrical measurements for the integration mm -hmm. concerns, speaker placement using the microphone technique that we'll talk about, and then of course the actual tuning process. You know, from the beginning of the install to the very end when you're doing system tuning, Max has got something in there that can be useful throughout that whole process. So from our end, we'd love Max in there immediately. Put it on the floorboard, start checking wires. So. Well, I think Steve, your job is to explain these added benefits to justify my ROI as yeah. a technician right. to invest in said Max. Exactly, yep. And if you can do that, then I have a decision to make. That's, that's the goal. And if you were at Master Tech, you'd be able to do that. Come on in. And that's what you're missing. Uh, we're going to see you up in Canada. Yes. Yep. Super excited about month, that. Right? I cannot wait for you to do it's that. Be fun. I haven't been up there in a while. I tell you what, we can't wait to have you. And it's can going to be just as warm as it is in Miami, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, sir, so happy to finally meet you in person. Yeah, Steve, you too. thanks for coming by. No problem. You're going to be a busy booth. Thank you for the demo. Absolutely. And uh, keep it rocking, brother. Yeah, you Take too. care. All right, see you. That, folks, was Steve Teresi from JL Audio stopping in to talk about what's happening at the JL Audio booth here at Master Tech Expo. It's been a ride, everybody. We went through all our guests today. I want to remind you to stay tuned because we are continuing with our ongoing coverage of CMA Networks from Master Tech Expo live here from Mesa, Arizona. Make sure to visit our website, cmanetworks.com, and search through all hundreds of videos of all your favorite brands and trainers, especially with our enhanced search tools. So, example, anybody that you saw on today, click on trainers, see all the videos that they've got, and get your learn on for sure. All right, so this is it. Continuing coverage, we're back for day two. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be here at 3 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time, and then we'll be here as well on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mountain. That's it for this CMA 12 Volt Insider, live from Miss Arizona Master Tech Expo, presented, of course, by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. Stop it. Yeah. Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's last call out Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What?